Right, I've made a, a start back onto the, the derby sender. Just got to stick the engine back in. It's been like too long this bike now, so I want to get it finished. So. It's been sitting outside a few weeks, so I'll, I'll get the engine in. That's the engine in. Stuck a new kickstart on. That one there. That was one of the sort of cheap alloy things. Oh, the splines are on that It's rubbish. Honestly. So, I'm going to start getting the wiring done. Hey. Not bad. This is one of the better bikes for the wiring. The wiring's alright on this bike. Which pleases me immensely. Right. Hope I've still got the oil pump, even though it's it just acts as a, a blanking plate. Hey, I'm getting up well with this. I've got the radiator on. Got that connected, standing the wire. Got the controls on. Got a carburetor on. I've put the basic jets in that again. Uh, 98, 40 I've got in that. And that's got the, the choke up here for a wee change. You see the, the big choke lever. Oh, this should be gone in the next day or so. Get all that on. Get all this, that's a new bracket there. Yeah. It's looking good. Got the wiring done. I've got the exhaust on. And I was just going to put the headlight on and a wee bit of a mistake there. I forgot to fit the headlamp brackets onto the fork tubes. So I've had to drop that down again. So. Right. So I'll get that on to there. Lamp on. I'm going to try and get uh, the indicators. I think they're the original derby. That's been about a straighten up, you know. Original derby indicators. I'm going to try and get a matching pair for the back. Right. I've just got that to tidy up. And it's. Let's see if it'll start. Oh, well, that's on. It's looking good. Now, that's an, this is a first for me, that's an 80cc big board kit. And it feels, when I'm cranking it with my hand, it's, it's got some compression like, so this, this should go well with this bike, really. And I've got the original dash, which was in one piece, which makes a change. This is just leading up to the first start now. Just got the battery earth to put on. I've got my wee petal bottle connected. I'm going to have to get the key, so let us get this done. Got the key. So it's a good start, is that the right one? Nope. Shit a bit. Right key, right, I'll get the battery. I was like we just put the battery on. With a pair of ice grips on there to start with, just in case there's any short circuits. You never know. Usually, usually get the case you might just first put it on if you got a, a bit of spark on the wire. Right. Earth wire. There's a little. That'll just be powering up. Let's see, so that's off.
Right, this dash thing will probably go nuts because there's no fuel gauge and I'm doing away with the the two stroke tanks so I'm going to have to bridge the, the wires across. should really have that cord, you know what, anything fall between the two battery terminals. Now I'll do it now. Right, let's see. Have we got anything here? Oh my god, I don't believe it. Oh. Right. right, I'll just move the, oh, there's my battery terminal, it just fell off. Here we go. Now, this is another uh, second hand Delorto carburetor I've got. It's another 21 mil PHPG, but I noticed on uh, the mixture screw, the wee o-ring and washer were missing. I've managed to get a wee o-ring, it's not the right one, so it's it's going to run like a, a bucket of shit, I would imagine. Right, on the chalk. Right, we've got petrol up there. This is too high for me. I'm just a wee short offs, honestly. I just had a fuse blow. I'm sure. Uh, I thought I had a fuse blow, but it's not. And that came out. I just had a wee sort of click. I, mean, I can do it some standing if it. Join at the exhaust where it goes into the, oh, you call that the expansion chamber into the the pipe. I'm sure it did very much. But it goes. That end brilliant. I do get a wee bit excited at these kind of things. 
Let's see, I didn't notice the very kind of looks like it. <coughs> I didn't think that was going to seal right, that just, that flange coming out the, the cylinder just doesn't look right. There it goes, that's the main thing. Oh, it's just running to peril. <sighs> Fix the exhaust. It's on a wee bit better now, it's a bit smoky, obviously but it's just, just been a new a rebuild. We got the the chain on chain guard. Just thinking back that this is a bike. Some did cut the the brackets off the, the swing arm. It seems ages ago since I made up new brackets and welded them on. So that that's that one. Eh, that sprocket. That's one I've had. It's a new sprocket. It looks a bit grotty. That's a fifteen tooth. So we'll see how that goes. That'll improve the top end, but the, the acceleration might be not as good. But this is this is an ATCC, so I'll be interested to see what that's like. Because usually when you put the eleven tooth on, it, the engine revs out and it feels like you're getting newer. Modified that. That's all the air intake, got into the air box. So I'll put that on. So it's no far away from being finished now. It's really just the plastics to go on. Now I've managed to find a couple of Aprilia indicators for it. They have to be, still be wired up. Wearing a new number plate on because that one it was on was, well, if it went for MOT technically. It would, it would fail if the MOT tester was being about a pain in the ass. The letters are just too wee. So, eh, I think that's. These other videos of this has been through, been filmed out over about two or three days. This is the, what's the day is it? This is the 1st of November 2022. So all the, these videos are recent when I'm putting them on. The other one with the, the Kawasaki chain and sprockets and the tappets. Well, the valve clearances. That was just done at the beginning of the week. So, this is... I can't wait until I get these brand new plastics on. They're in that box here. It's looking good. Are you finishing thing? Hey, thanks to the new subscribers, I'm thinking I'm up to two hundred and forty-five now. Hey, kind of hard to believe. Everybody, folk are white watch my videos like that, and the majority of people are watching them are not subscribed. So I'd be really grateful if you could subscribe to my channel and see if we can get up to a thousand. I might be able to start doing I'll have to show this must it is looking good to there. Just in the that's my old GT two fifty. 
it's good with it highlighted there. I've just got the mirrors like that to get through the the narrow gate. Yeah. I've just had a banana tea. <laughs> right, thanks for watching.